Nakaramo Jong marriage is one of the best marriages I have witnessed. Though very many say lots of things about Karamoja, most believe that Karamojongs are still violent and very hostile crime. No, it is wrong. I confirmed by myself and at the end of the day I got to know that actually these guys are the most loving, welcoming and patient group of people. Most have been saying we can't wait for Karamoja to develop. When you follow this video, you will know that people have been saying all kinds of nonsense about Karamoja. The Karamoja tribe is found in the northern eastern Uganda. Today I'm going to talk about the traditional culture of the marriage in Karamoja. Their marriage always has to run for two days, whereby the first day rituals and customs are supposed to be performed by a man who is married. The rituals include 1. Akinyonyo, 2. Akidet. Akinyonyo. This is the skin ratio, is whereby a man and his fellow brothers have to sit down and wear a cow or the bull skin. This skin represents power to them. They always wear this skin in order. The elder brother has to wear the skin first, then to the young brother. In everything they do, they start from the elder to the younger one. After the skin ratio is done, the next they go is drinking of the booze. This booze is known as the holy booze. It's being blessed by the elders first before the brothers drink it. After they drink, then it means that now they are now men and they can now marry. The second ratio is Akidet. Akidet is the giving out of animals to the girl's family. In this first day, the girl or woman who is being married to is not supposed to appear in the first day or in a man's place. She's supposed to stay at her home. It's only the ants that have to come to pick the cows. Cattle is then being given to the girl's family in the process of accident. Once all this is done, means the day performing activities are done. In the first day, accident is the last ratio of the day. As they sit down and eat, celebrate and wait for the second day. The woman here you are seeing is called Jan Francis Abodo, a young sister to Mr. Luke Lokuda, the man who is married. Let's hear from her. I'm called Jan Francis Abodo. Okay, which work do you do? I am a director of public prosecutions. So, how do you contribute to this function? What are you exactly to the main celebrant? I am the young sister, I'm one of the young sisters to Mr. Lokuda Luke. So we came here to, to start the celebrations, which are going to take two days. It's a marriage ceremony and it's always very colorful. It is a Karamojong marriage ceremony. So it is always colorful. So today we gave out the cows. So tomorrow we shall go and bring our wife back here home. Okay, I see everyone is smart. Today everyone is well dressed. And I pray everything keeps on going well. Um, how do you think, on like basing on everything, how do you see, how is today, like on commenting on a rate of um, 1 to 10, how do you comment on today? I can say it is 11. Oh, it's yeah. beyond. Yeah. Uh, thank you, thank you very much. Because I, I am saying 11 because I have met family members whom I have not met for over 20 years. I've met stepsisters, I've met cousins, I've met nephews, nieces, so many, and my, my stepsisters whom I've not seen, and stepbrothers whom I've not seen for so many. So it has been a beautiful reunion for me. That's why I'm saying this 11 out of 10. Yes. Um, this is Achia Douglas interviewing. Um, thank you for your time. Thank you for everything. Thank you, thank you so much. Have a nice day. Francis And also another thing, I was so much interested in knowing the meaning of the blue and white color. Of course, I see it's the most dominating color in this in this guy's culture and in this guy's attire. I asked Namboso about the blue and white color. 
Okay, the blue color is one of the unique colors that in Karamoja people rarely use it for traditional marriage. Okay. It is uh, good when it is blended with white, and you know white is a good color that represents peace, unity, and pure hearts. And uh, as a family, we chose to use it for this day when we are giving out animals because we are happy for this marriage. So you see how we are bright in blue and white. Yes, everyone looks smart. Yes, all of us are very smart. You can look around. We are all very smart in blue and white. We have the shoka, we have the beads, we have even the shoes. See the shoes? See the shoes it's blend with beads and it is white, blue. That is why we decided to choose this color. It is not commonly used by very many people. Thank you. The second day is the most interesting day of the marriage. The man's family has to come to the woman's family to pick up their wife. They followed the road that the cows followed. At this point, a man together with his brothers and uncles have no right to enter the woman's home until the parents of the woman accept. At this point, it's only the man's sisters, aunties and friends that have to go and beg for the woman's family to let the man enter. What is most interesting is that the woman has the right to refuse the man. Why she is given this decision is to decide for her life. If she says yes, meaning she is going to the man's home forever and, not, and she is no longer staying with her parents. The woman's family always prepares delicious foods for the man's family to eat. They are welcomed by the holy water to the woman's home. These are not the women who are being welcomed as they come and they beg for the, for the permission. By the time they enter in, it's always happiness and joy. In whatever they do, they put God first in their lives and they believe in the power of prayer. Just like other tribes. After the prayer, the man's family is being entertained with their traditional dance. These people always have their very nice unique dance, mostly among the girls. The man is now being brought in and he is being escorted by his brothers. Immediately the man sits down. The woman has to bring in the traditional food so that she can feed a man. And in this process, she's being escorted by her brothers, her sisters, and her friends. But remember, this does not mean that the woman has allowed. In this moment, she's just trying to do the feeding and to do the rituals. If she accepts, then she is going to be brought back when she is wearing in a yellow top. At this juncture after the feeding, she is then being taken back or escorted back to make her decision. I think we can all see the answers now. She has allowed it. That's why she's wearing a yellow top. At this process, it is only happiness and joy. They move around waving at people saying we are married. And this is the moment of happiness and joy. The whole family joins and participates in a dance to celebrate the two. Look at the ring, look at the Look at my long morning. Walk at the duck in Aguile. Walk at the duck in Yamato. I young. Now walk at the rock. Top rock. Top rock. Top rock. Keep up on your 
Kidongak, Kidongak, Kidongak Kibapanya bo Kita dongak pani Kita bulat pani Kita zinat pani Kiwala, kiwala Kita dongak pani Kita bulat pani Kita zinat pani Kiwala, kiwala Na aku wani kebuzen Cerita kone Mie ke puro Ile ke makana ngini ngina Niko kuli bilip Dilu kutuju nikang Mie zakupane Tanapakina ngibolyo Kiwala 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 K